Now, big news for orchid lovers because Britain's rarest orchid, the ivory white ghost orchid, has been discovered in an English wood for the first time in 15 years. The unusually white plant is found in deep woodland and there have been frequent rumours of its extinction since it was first spotted in Herefordshire 170 years ago. Let's speak now to Dr. Richard Bate, who's a dental surgeon, but also a wildflower enthusiast. And he's found what is described as the holy grail of orchids. Uh, great to have you with us, Richard. And I have been reading that you have spent 30 years trying to find this orchid. Uh, it's been a quest for you, hasn't it? Why? Oh, it's actually 31 years. I've been looking uh, for this plant since my 10th birthday um, after I read about it um, as, a, as a young child. One of my first loves was that of plants and the, the mystique of the ghost orchid, it being such a, a rare plant and one that's so difficult to find, was something that's always appealed to me. And I can tell you now after th over 30 years of looking for it, it is quite a difficult thing to track down. But uh, relief aside and uh, and and obviously you're happy with it it's wonderful to see that this plant despite rumors that it's it's no longer with us and you know that it might have become extinct it, it's really wonderful to see that it's still with us and you'd gone out looking for some other flowers i understand when you came across it just describe for us when you found it th that moment it was a bit strange because I spotted the plant from from some distance away, and the first thing I thought in my my mind was, "Is no, you, no, no, you can't be right there." Uh, and as I got closer to it, I thought, "Oh goodness me, this this is the moment I found it." But it, it was a mixture of, as I say, of of, of relief and 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 elation, because after looking for something for so long, you, you convince yourself that it's maybe not there anymore, and you're wasting your time. So it's an incredible relief uh, to, to have found it. Why is it so rare in the UK? Well, the plant itself is, is vanishingly rare in, in itself. It's got particularly uh, unusual habitat requirements. The plant itself grows um, in, with, without containing anything called chlorophyll. And its life cycle centers around that of its, its fungal partner in the soil. What the orchid does is it, it parasitizes uh, fungi that grow around the base of trees and the plant itself is incredibly fussy. So it actually spends most of its time living underground. So most of the time, even if the plant is there, it leaves no evidence that it is. And yeah, when it so does it... eventually flower, it, it pops up above ground. This incredibly sort of uh, yeah, lovely smelling thing, it smells like bananas when it does pop above ground it doesn't last very long mm. so a few days maybe even a few hours at the most so, so you've got giving, to be giving the, the, right the impression that it is incredibly incredibly rare richard maybe there are more of them we just haven't spotted them I, I just have time to ask you this question which i do want to fit in the location hasn't been revealed obviously concerns that it might get trampled or or indeed taken away but uh, shouldn't there be an opportunity for people who want to see it to do that It'd be wonderful if people could, but as, as I've been saying before, if people do want to see this plant, then maybe as a whole, we, we, we should all do our bit to ensure that this plant is, 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 is more prevalent. Um, if you've got something that is so unusual and so demanding, then we need to make more of an effort to encourage the habitats for these. Um, reporting it to the BSBI, um, who, who helped me with, with the discovery. The BSBI being the... Botanical Society of Britain and Ireland. Hopefully what we can do is, is we can spur some habitat management to try and get these plants to start popping up in the locations where they've been reported historically. And maybe people will have the opportunity to do so. But at the moment, the, the, the find, it might, for all we know, be the only one that's out there. I hope it isn't, and I think it isn't. But if people do want to see it, then we, we all need to do our bit to try and encourage the right conditions for it to grow. I hope it isn't the only one out there either. Uh, Richard, thank you very much oh, for too. talking to us on BBC News. Richard Bate. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.